back at it with an updated version of the Cheerios combo deck, courtesy of Hall of Famer Raphael Levy. For those of you that haven't seen how the deck works, here's the gist. You've got a SRAM or a Pure Steel Paladin in play. For the sake of demonstration, let's make it a SRAM. Now your job is to cast zero mana equipment, drawing a card for each one. That's where the name Cheerios comes from because it's a lot of zero mana equipment and Cheerio is a like zero, you get it. So the deck is full of zero mana equipment, so you're going to get to draw a lot of cards. What you're trying to do is cast enough of these things, along with some Mox Opals if you need them, to create a big enough storm count to grape shot your opponent for their entire life total. Here's Ben Riley dunking on five color humans at the last Modern Grand Prix. I know there's a lot of glare on a lot of these cards, but that's okay because we're going to walk you through it. First, repeal on a zero mana artifact. Since that's a pure steel paladin in play, we're going to draw a card off the repeal and draw a card when we recast the zero mana equipment. But wait, wait, there's a SRAM coming down. So now all our zero mana equipment is going to draw us two cards. So let's just do that. Let's just draw a bunch of cards, right? We're going to take a quick break in the action to cast Serum Visions because it scries us. We got to get the chaff out of the way. We just got to chain a bunch of zero mana artifacts together in order to build up our storm. So let's just keep doing that. We're going to slam some artifacts now and we're drawing two cards per artifact. That one is important. That is a Paradise Mantle. We're going to equip that to the Pure Steel Paladin and it's going to create the red mana we need to grape shot our opponent out. So let's just build up that storm count. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready to cast the Noxious Revival on the Grape Shot that's already in our graveyard. Grape Shot's gonna go on top of our library, but how do we get the Grape Shot? Oh, I guess we just play another zero mana artifact and our opponent's had enough. That ideally is how the deck works. Raphael Levy's been working on the deck for a hot minute and what he discovered was that the deck really floundered if an opponent had early removal for SRAM or Pure Steel Paladin because there was no other way to generate card flow. Raph's solution? Leyline of Anticipation plus Days Undoing. Days Undoing is a super powerful card modeled after Time Twister, one of Alpha's illustrious Power 9. Days Undoing's drawback is huge, but thanks to Leyline of Anticipation, you can sidestep that drawback by casting it on your opponent's end step. The idea is that with Leyline and Days Undoing, you don't even need one of your creatures right away. You can drop your artifacts on the table, cast Days Undoing, and hit some combination of Retract, SRAM, and Pure Steel Paladin in your new 7 card hand. From there, it's the same old Cheerios win. Play equipment, draw your deck, and Grape Shot him out. You may have noticed that the Grand Prix clip we showed featured Noxious Revival to get back Grape Shot. You may have also noticed that this list doesn't have Noxious Revival. That's because with Days Undoing, you don't even need it. Are you forced to cast your Grape Shot early to machine gun down your opponent's board just to stay alive? No problemo. Days Undoing puts Grape Shot back in your deck, and from there, you should be in a good spot to redraw and blast your opponent for a ton of damage. What do you think of the Leyline Time Twister tech? Let us know in the comments, and if you want to see more deck techs like this, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.